All right, hello and welcome back to Slay the Princess. Um, as usual, same warning as last time applies. I am <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. I don't know what the hell that is. I um yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be trying to get all ten of the, the in the woods. endings. You're here to slay her. That are in this. Now, obviously, <coughs> obviously, they've probably added a very, a very like <laughs> basic ending for turn around and leave. So I think that's going to be the one that I'm going to do last. This time, I want to try one all of the options that are silent. So, I say nothing. I want to see how the narrator reacts to me not giving anything back. I also want to, second ending, talk to the princess. Because uh, I was going to do that last time, and then I didn't. And I don't know why I've got such a frog in my throat. I think I've been talking too much today. <clears throat> Went to see you the... Make your um, way up the short Dungeons and Dragons movie earlier today. It's it's a pretty good movie. But uh, as usual after a movie, I've got a giant headache. A warning before you go in. She will lie. Yep. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's ignore him. Wow. I don't have any other options. I I seem to recall there being other options before of like other things I could do when I wasn't silent. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. <clears throat> the only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. <sighs> <clears throat> Sorry, just uh, <laughs> letting me talk while I get a drink. Food. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's see. How loud am I, and then how loud is the game? Okay, that seems... That seems more or less fine, but I'm going to put it up a little because I feel like the narrator talking. No, I'm going to take the blade take and the then blade into the basement. The but I do also want to see what happens if I don't take the blade. But I think I'm going to save turn around and leave open, for the very last illuminated by an unseen <clears throat> light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't no, have to she fool. doesn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I'm here to kill you. You're still listening to reason. Okay, so the narrator doesn't care. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the <clears> princess. <throat> she's so focused on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I think I've already done. Okay. So the narrator doesn't care that I haven't said anything. And I think I've already done this. This is how I got the razor ending. Just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How she makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like, don't you dare. It's fine. We can just okay. I actually don't care about what you say here. Blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clap. Alrighty. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, what? you step forward to speak with the princess. Why am I stepping forward? Unarmed. Why do I have to get closer to talk to her? 
Why are all the options in this game do the dumbest thing possible? We'll be fine. We don't know what you're hoping to accomplish <clears throat> here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Okay, so whatever. here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. I'm gonna kill you, okay. Don't just tell her that. She already knows, narrator. How fucking stupid are you? <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. Why is your voice acting? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? <clears throat> Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Yeah, more or less. Huh. Princess hesitates before responding. Why did that say deflect? That's not de deflecting, that's like a... What? She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. Uh, shut she up. I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. What? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Oh my god. She has a point. No. There's a re so, she doesn't. I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. <laughs> like I said, it's all about- So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? Okay, if you're trying to write a character who's trying to make me not kill her, this is not the way to do it. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. Oh, shut up, narrator. Okay, we've talked oh, enough. Have you decided what I'm gonna you know fucking kill you because you're boring. Because I've done a lot of killing new endings. Let's see what happens if I examine the chains. You have to be kidding. Shut up, narrator. Walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to eat. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hmm. Does this lock me into breaking I'll your be free? Because all I did was say the 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 that I was going to get her out. Hear the click of a lock, I didn't actually the like. Is someone else here. <clears throat> That's the thing. Like I said, I was gonna let her out, but if the game is now locking me into that, that's fucking annoying. But also. Of course, it's not going to let me do that right now. Possibly because it's the demo. Possibly this is just how the game works. Um, try the door. Well, I just heard it like a lot. You're here to slay the. <sighs> Whatever. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. Easier Shut up. for who? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked the knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happened. Sure. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. You cut into her flesh. 
Uh -huh. The blade is sharp and you make quick work of it. Before long you're able to crack through bone and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm from mm. the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Yeah. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. Sure. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. No, Thank she you. Isn't. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. <laughs> Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Okay. Stop that. I thought this was a little <clears throat> too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. The blade. Interesting. Move the Blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. <sighs> Why are they making her text all like creepy and red and like ooh spook? She's just. <sighs> she sounds exactly the same. Nothing has changed about her. Is any part of this? I said this to somebody else when I finished playing it the I'll first make this time. Quick. Thanks. The first time, I actually don't know what's supposed to be scary about this game. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Oh, so it's not that when I die, I become a weird monster. That's good. To Maybe know. I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat. Almost clinical ease. Thanks. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. There was this is the end. Listen, a faster way to do that. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was. It worth was worth it to annoy you, actually. I'll admit, it was kind of enjoyable. You're on a path in the yep. You're here to slip. Shut up. <laughs> Let's get to call him a bastard. I, tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. <clears throat> Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. Mm. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. Okay. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you too. Right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Actually, no matter how many times I've asked you, you've never actually informed me of the, like, proper stakes. You've just said, Ugh, Prince is dangerous, stab her. I don't care. <laughs> like, this game really needs to actually establish the stakes. Also, why is this still the option? It leads to nothing dialogue, right? And oh, it's not boy. even relevant to that she shut up, lie. my reader. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say wink <laughs> out loud? No, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore this clown. Yeah, exactly the same line I think he says for all of the voices. <clears throat> the interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. I like that callback to her saying, you know, I could have. You know, I could say that I just want to live in a cozy, but also, 
Uh, Princess is a stupid bitch, and I don't care the about her. The only furniture of note <laughs> is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your- Shut up. You walk up to the wall next to- What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Hmm. I feel like that dialogue is different for Hero. Reach forward and rub your hand against the mirror. There was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because I've, I've interacted with the mirror in every run, simply because... Um, oh no, I can attack the blade, actually. Uh, simply because I... Because if I don't take the blade, then there's a chance... Actually, maybe next time what I'll do is I won't take the blade at all. So maybe she won't start off being a bitch. Um, because I think taking... Whatever I do now, I'm pretty sure does not matter for what ending I get. Um, because this is just the demo. <laughs> but yeah, I've been interacting with it in every Door one. Because I just want to know revealing an old stone staircase. Um, if in any run it becomes relevant. To illuminate your path, <laughs> dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Uh huh. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. <laughs> It really annoys me that the game describes her voice, but she always sounds exactly the same. Don't tell me her voice is harsh but controlled, and then she just sounds You shouldn't have come normal. down here, Lana. Does Shut she up. remember us? <laughs> you Shut walk up, down Mary. the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She looks up mm -hmm. at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Interesting. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. They but you notice the empty hands. chain on the wall. Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Yeah, that's the one in the other life that she clearly tore off of her one hand. That's how she's able to beat you to death in the adversary ending. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? I'm sure the two of us have quite a bit to talk about. Once again, why do you make her text all, ooh, spooky, right? It's not. <laughs> Prison, okay. I'm trying to keep in mind the endings that I've gotten so that when I title the thing, you know, like, this is the ending I got in this video. Ten roots and one ending. Oh, hang on. Okay. And many more ways to die. <laughs> Which, that seems to be how all of the endings go. Team Dogfit. Okay. So what happens if I go in completely unarmed and try to piss her off? Yep. You're on a path. You're here. Uh-huh. Um, is there anything I have? No. I'm not going to look up you a walkthrough. Whoops. I'm not going to look up a walkthrough for... She will lie. We're not going to go through with it. Yeah, whatever. Um, unless, unless I get sort of stumped and I can't figure out how to get more endings, more the interior roots. of the, the blade is your... Into the basement the first time without the blade. I want to see what happens. The door to the basement creaks open. Her voice. Hello? Is someone there? Interesting. This is different. This hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Is it? Hero? Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. 
lion here to save you. Hmm. I wonder if that's because I just got the prisoner ending or if that's because I came here unarmed. You are? It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I, I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. We walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Interesting. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be I'll a threat keep it to in your anyone? pants here, I don't give a shit. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Can I turn off how annoying the hero is? Is there a Hi. setting for that? Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Let's talk a bit first. Okay. Her expression did change. I'm gonna ask this now to this princess. Because it seems like not taking the blade has changed a the lot. princess hesitates before responding. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know. She's, she knows what Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. This? This is the only time her voice has actually fucking changed. It's not like you'd believe me. Why wouldn't I believe you? carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title? <laughs> what if it's both? <laughs> Could you imagine being named princess princess? I am recording this, right? Yeah. I'm locked up down here for a reason. No? Huh? I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? You have all the explanation you need. You should not... Uh, shut up, narrator. Okay. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Uh, this is the only time this is ever going to happen. But, okay, but actually, what has she been eating? <laughs> she has to eat, right? I, see, here's the thing, because I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to do what the game is saying that I can do, which is talk to the princess, learn more about her, maybe, you know, maybe come to trust her and then be horribly betrayed by her. But it's kind of hard to do when she's like this. Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. Uh huh. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Okay, I see. that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her. Why would it be too late? What's she gonna do, narrator? <laughs> hmm. She didn't respond to that. Cause here's the thing, right? She's obviously dangerous. We know that factually. But I want to explore this stuff more. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. Are you gonna give me a different one? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. No, but different I've been down here for so long. And different voice acting. So the voice actress is capable of it. Is she just not getting good That's direction? 
How long has she been in the other end? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? No. This motherfucker's been so vague. I don't think you're actually dangerous. Because the narrator hasn't fucking told me anything. Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. Hopefully it won't be too late when <clears throat> you finally come around. Thank you for believing me. Now, can you help me get out of here? Okay. There's going to be plenty of time to chat after I'm free, but okay. Ooh. That's an interesting ending. Hmm. I wonder actually what's going to happen because I don't have a weapon to get her out, right? Hmm. I don't have a weapon to get her out with, but I also don't have a weapon for her to kill me with. Only making this more difficult. Shut up, Mary. And, and you won't. I promise. You're making a huge mistake. No. You're doing the right thing. I don't thing. care about what either of you have to say. The princess to the wall and give them a tug. <laughs> They're large and heavy. Far too soft. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. Uh -huh. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting no. our way out if it meant we could attempt to make your way out of the bed. Someone right. else here. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Well, you're the, the door one slam. who they walked me down, down here, too, here I'm pretty sure, so... There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely oh. hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Okay. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but mm. if there's a time to strike, it's now. This might be... Or we could use it to... F you won't like what happened. This might be actually the ending. So we've seen what happens when I say to save the princess, which is, she kills me with this blade. So what if I kill her? Without hesitation, bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Fine. Because uh, I already know what happens in the other route, so let's see what happens in this route. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? No, I... I feel like it's pretty normal for somebody to change their opinion after seeing you fucking tear your own arm off with your teeth. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Mm. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me do you hear the conviction in her voice do you see that razor sharpness in her gaze i don't mm -hmm. think she's bluffing i thought we had the upper hand but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us it's an act she's wounded and unarmed there's nothing she can do to hurt you narrator why are you so fucking stupid why are you here i'm not so sure don't waver now as you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to she's gonna down. turn into a werewolf i bet your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw forget about trying to rescue her this is about survival now give her everything you've got 
Yeah. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. I wonder if the reason why I'm the only person who can do this, because I'm a fucking lizard person covered in scales, and I'm the only one who can stand up to being fucking can still lizard. Turn this like around. She won't bleed out. You steal your resolve and take another step closer mm. to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here. Excuse me? What's this about not making? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to stay. Can you feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? Mm. If the princess doesn't do you in this here, is a different line than when she killed me in. Was it the adversary? I think. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground, and the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both. found a friend but you were just another monster weren't you silent as the room starts to get fuzzy around you hmm. you've paid a terrible price but you've saved us all it's over if you think this is it you're sorely mistaken one way or another i'll make sure you pay for this there is a game that razor sharp look in her eyes and that but you don't have the time left to worry <laughs> about such things everything goes black and you die i don't think anything would have happened differently if i had chosen to save her in that instance the narrator still would have taken over my body and i still would have killed her and she still would have killed me so like you're on a path actually, she would have killed me and i wouldn't have killed at her the end of that path you're here to okay you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't. He doesn't remember what happened. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. We need to keep our cards close to our chest and I'm not sure we can trust him. You know I can hear you. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? Slip of the tongue. Bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. All right. Uh, this is pointless, but I wonder if maybe <sighs> this is pointless, but I wonder if maybe the other voices Those are have two like very different. Let's say for a moment that you died last time, which probably only happened when you were just weighing our options in a morally ambiguous situation. You can't blame us for weighing our options. We did our best with the information we were given. And we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? And I believe your other question was something along the line. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We could. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical. Had you failed to slay them? Right. That's a very good point. There this princess character seems like a lot of trouble. And if you think about it, actually slaying her probably breaks us out of this cycle, right? We don't want to be stuck here forever, do we? Uh, You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? Laying it on a little thick? What do you talk? mean? I'm sharing my own opinion. did opinions. kill her, and that did nothing. Matters for almost everyone. Just sure. be quick about it. <laughs> I hate it if I have something like that in the world. Uh, what is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I. Okay. <laughs> she is just a princess. Right. told you everything you need. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. Okay. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better no, things will go for I'm you. I'm not don't going think to, either you, of you really need to press the man on this. He wants us to slay the princess, so why would he have anything to hide? He seems like a nice guy to me. 
<sighs> I appreciate the vote of confidence, but no. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably. Look. <sighs> oh, of course you. Good point. That rig. I'm not so sure about that. You know, you're right. But it explains all. That's not right. all. Now, if you. <sighs> a warning. She will laugh. Point. Don't worry. I think we've taken that lesson to heart at this point. <laughs> you can trust us to get the job done. Alright, I want to hear what this opportunist has to say about the mirror. Probably something along the lines of what the, um, the interior of the, the cabin is a mess said. of twisted roots. The walls are chaotic. You know, weave of it doesn't fucking matter. Or as if by accident, I don't trust him, so we should pay attention to the mirror. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is. <laughs> Well, cabin is different than last time. This is new, even though I've done this several times. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means... No, it did. So focus it up. Did. Uh, Rich Mirror. You walk up to the wall What are you talking about? This yep. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look. Oh, there was no dialogue between the opportunist and the hero. Hmm. I wonder if the witch is the way that we... Hmm. Because I did the witch by... Getting all the way through the talking and then choosing not to slight and choosing not to save her. I wonder what would happen if I go into the witch without the blade oh, again. Right. Leaving it behind. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. It's me. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. See? She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Ooh. Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. I'm going to strangle this fucking man with my bare hands. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. You can't. Unless you slay her right away. Shut up. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? We need to stop lingering. Uh, fine, quiet. Fine. You're the boss. He's not the boss. He's a Thank stupid you. bitch. You descend the basement Ooh. steps, entering the dark room below. She's... No, she is still chained up. A fire crackles in the center of the room, casting unsettling shadows and yes, she the is dirt walls. The princess cracks. And there you are. What? Again, seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? Hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna speed run through to get the witch ending again, but instead of getting the witch ending, I'm gonna see what happens if I try and save her. Um. 
Because I know it'll probably be exactly the same as last time I tried to help her. But I just want to know. You're, you're. All right. Bye then. You make a warning. Look, ignore. Bye then. The interior of the cat ablaze. Uh huh. Don't care. Now. The door to the basement. Her voice. Hello. Yes. Hypnotize him. Don't let it fool. I. Hmm. I'm here How to many see. times do I have to shut up? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. We walk down the stairs and lock eyes. She's beautiful. I am okay. begging you to. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets. Okay. Okay. Samar. Okay. I think I should be able to. Oh. She pauses. You can Please? address me. Great. The princess. She doesn't know. She knows what she's doing. Are you looking for the truth or are you looking for the right? It's not like you'd believe me. Okay. I don't see what that has to do with it. This is the only time this is ever going to happen. <laughs> but okay, but actually. Okay. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't You have all the explanation you need. Quiet. But I don't actually think you're dangerous. Is that why they threw me down here? I don't remember much about it to That's how did they tell you how? I'm supposed to end the world? That's why I don't think you're actually Sooner dangerous. or later, you'll learn to trust me. Thank you for believing. See what I can do. You walk up to the chains. They're large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Now, whoever... Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can... She offers the suggestion if we were stuck down here. Okay. You should attempt to make your way out with someone else. Now, I didn't say anything. I just returned to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stair. Easier, easier for everyone. Look at the mess. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's mm -hmm. a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. That line is completely unnecessary because I could hear it in the good voice acting. Because this route has good voice acting just get out of these chains i know we could force our way out of here together she barely oh, hesitates okay, before yep. raising her arm to her mouth still doing her it. teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf as she rips her flesh from her bone wonderful the blade from upstairs or we could you won't like the only option is to save her okay <sighs> fine against your better judgment you cut the blade is sharp Okay. Her limb falls to the ground. She didn't so much as... No. She, she smiles softly as her gaze meets yours. Blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? Mm -hmm. It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. She can get us out. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. As the princess approach... Wait. This isn't... Watch me. What are you... Can I warn her? Stop that. Yeah. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward. Oh. The blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. My only option is the blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the 
princess takes a cautious step forward. No, okay, this is all different. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Okay. She plunges it into mm. your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Okay. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Stay strong. It's okay, we can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed every whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest mm. again and again and again, and you feel every inch burning pain that slices its way into your body. She knows what she's doing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife <laughs> works, it does. I'm so sorry. It's okay. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. Princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't mm. deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. The damsel. Ooh. I wonder if the damsel is happy. You're on a path. You're here. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna go. There's no point talking to oh, him. Oh, she will. If only you knew what you did to us, you villain. Oh right, I should have talked because <laughs> I have a new voice. Forget he said, but he is a villain. He made our beloved brutally take our life last time. He is trying to keep us apart, but he won't be able to withstand the power of our love. Sir. <laughs> Last time. I think he just likes to hear the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone <laughs> needs to go pay their bickering any mind. Love it. I should have talked so that we could hear the voice of the smitten more. That's my mistake. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded mm. tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is... No. Mirror on the wall. You walk up to the Why wall next to the basement. Why do some of the endings have... Oh, the cabin is totally is different than last time. Reach forward, rub your. There was a mirror a second. Now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Okay, so I'm some weird cursed thing. I have scales and feathers. Good to know. And big claws. Good to know. <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate hmm. stairway. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Oh, we're gonna get But it's still a stone here. basement. If nope. the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing a soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I think we're in love. Okay, I'm with you that we should be doing whatever we can to save her, but saying we're in love is a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> we don't even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this fawning. See, it's a real yes, hero. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. Just remember oh. that her charms are walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Interesting. I didn't even There's have a, a choice. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. 
my love. Oh. We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul She doesn't look real anymore. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, <laughs> all right. I was so worried about you. Y you remember me, right? Of course I do. Oh, she even has a, she has a cute little crown this time. Okay. See, now we're getting something interesting. I don't know. I'm gonna have to rewatch these videos to see what I didn't do so I can figure out what I can do next time to get different endings. But those were some interesting ones, okay? I, the, the narrator is still the most annoying person to ever live, but we're getting somewhere with these endings. There's some interesting things coming up. I'm kind of interested for next episode to see, like, what have we missed? What more can we find out about the situation we're in, about the princess? I know it's only chapter one, uh, and, like, a, a breath of chapter two, but <clears throat> I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see how this turns out. Um, but yeah, uh, this was my, my second run through of, um, Slay the Princess, the demo. I'll be finishing this at some point, but if you want to see this and everything else I'm working on, hopefully while well, my voice feels better, um, I put out episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Uh, and I'll see you next time.